Welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael and just down there is Esme, my dog. So we are out for another glorious camping weekend. The snow has melted off the fields, which means everything is wet, muddy and damp. And despite being in almost the middle of April, uh, it snowed when I was coming in and I got my truck stuck on my trailer and it took me about an hour to get the whole thing sorted out. I didn't film it because uh, nobody has to see that. It was pretty horrendous. However, the Argo did pull out the truck and the trailer. So without the Argo, I'd probably still be there. I haven't floated the Argo since I put the tracks on and since I put the roll bar on. So one of the things I want to try today is I'm just going to take it out there and see what it does. Uh, I know it's not super deep. Uh, it's probably thigh deep, maybe a little higher this time of year. Uh, but just curious. I don't think there's any risks involved. So I'll try and make it across the other side, turn around and come back. So that's my plan. Wish me luck. So I think I could safely say that the Argo has no swimming ability. <laughs> well, that was pretty terrible. The tracks don't really uh, do much. It seemed to work better going in reverse, uh, but just with that, that, I guess it's a pretty fast flowing stream. Uh, I had a hard time trying to get it back. I had to, as you saw, kind of go out wide and kind of swing back in just to get back across. So yeah, that's, uh, Great, so super tracks aren't good for uh, water, put it that way. So Esme was losing her mind 
when I was out there. So anyway, we're going to head out into the field to so the spot I'm trying to uh, get to. I've never been to before uh, because of the conditions. I think the Argo with the tracks uh, should be quite interesting. I think there should be like a mini lake out there too. So I want to try the Argo in some still water and see if that's, uh, that's any better. So this is actually really tough terrain. Um, I would be struggling if I just had wheels here, but it's very marshy ground, very clumpy with all these uh, long wild grasses. And uh, the Argo is just sailing across it, no problems at all. So I thought this would all be flooded, but it's not. So that's kind of odd. Uh, I can see where the river is just across the way. And I'm hoping we can get across that somewhere. And hopefully it's not fast flowing. What do you think, Es? So we've just reached the river and it's quite slow moving, I think. But the other side of the bank looks like steep, like it's cut away, obviously. Might be on the inside of this apex, might be able to get up. Uh, but I'd like to see how the tracks do in the mud. So we're going to give it a try. Worst case is we don't make it and we find somewhere else. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I'm not going to risk a river crossing. Uh, even with that, it's I was just like a cork. I had no real direction. Uh, and I was afraid to be heading off down the river. So we will. I know there's nothing on this side of the river. I need to get to the other side where the trees are. And I can't get across here. I could probably get across where I went earlier. Uh, so I may go back down that way. Or we may find somewhere on this side. The ducks.
that'll come in very handy for later on. Well, we finally made it. Uh, we did quite a lot of exploring and uh, I decided to come back to the old faithful campground because I have to leave uh, by about nine o'clock tomorrow. So this is actually a really easy uh, drive to load up for the truck. So I didn't quite get to where I wanted to. I'm in the same vicinity and uh, even a short trip is better than no trip in my opinion. So we are hammocking tonight. Uh, because I thought everything was going to be wet, which it really is. So I'll be glad to be uh, off the ground. So, those two trees behind me, I think will do quite nicely. So let's get on and get that set up. Put a mat down and she sits on the cold, wet ground. Bless me, no one's set on the mat. Oh. But thanks for all those people that commented on the pack as well. Um, Basically, you don't like it. <laughs> That's what I took away from the comments. Uh, I think you all preferred the older pack, but you know what? It's nice to try something new. Um, I don't mind this too much. I think it is a little small, and the other pack does hold things in a much more convenient place. So this is kind of all up front, but it's not that too bad. I, I don't find it gets in the way or anything. It's actually quite comfortable. So if you can't get a hold of a ribs pack, uh, this might work for you, as long as you're not carrying everything including this kitchen sink, as I tend to do sometimes. So I'm going to get on to the next job and get the hammock up and ready. So I have put a uh, ridge line behind me because the weather's been so changeable, so I'll probably put a tarp up. Uh, what I'm going to use is these uh, half shelters again and uh, see how that works out as a cover across it so give that a go I haven't done it before so it should be interesting
good. I think we're actually looking pretty good right now. I have these flaps up at the moment, but I could actually close them up. Like if the weather comes in, these flaps can actually come together to actually completely seal the hammock. But the sun's come out for the moment. So I have my Eno underquilt. I think that's rated for about minus seven. My slacker hammock straps. My taut line trucker's hitch. You can see that. Somebody's very interested in squirrels. A squirrel. Go get him. Here she goes with a squirrel nemesis. Could be somewhere. The next thing you want to do is actually uh, get some wood cut up and uh, we'll get a fire going. The Argo is pretty messy. The tracks do throw up a lot of mud. Luckily those floor pans actually come out and they can just wash them separately. My camera bag's toast. Have to wash that. My paint job didn't hold up very well. So I'm going to have to figure out something else. These hooks are pretty, uh, pretty aggressive on the paintwork.
So it's quite a weather change from early this morning where we had snow and rain. Uh, the sun's actually come out and it's quite warm. So that's nice. So we're just listening to a few of the audio books that I brought with me and uh, we're just hanging out. I want to give you an update on the uh, the knife uh, that, that we uh, worked on. So this is the Enco Trapper and this is the sheath that we made. Uh, it's held up really well. I'm actually very pleased with it. Uh, initially it wasn't perfect the way I actually wanted it but as I've used it and you know it gets that kind of nice patina um, it's actually quite nice and actually same with the the knife these were only uh, the scales that I made for temporary use uh, it was just some oak that I had I actually put it in with some screws and uh, some nuts on the back uh, so it's really just to kind of test the handle whether I liked it so that I could use some good wood uh, to actually make it but as time's gone on um, I actually like this a lot and I, I really like the way that the look right at the end there it's almost got like a, a varnish to it now where it's been kind of used and rubbed and aged and uh, it's starting to feel like it's starting to feel like my knife now so I'm kind of a bit loath to replace that uh, what I might do is actually just buy another knife and put the scales on uh, with the nice wood that I have. It's some burr elm that I have from England. Um, but rather than kind of disturb this knife, I think I might just keep it as it is and then buy another knife and then kind of replicate this, this scale width, which I like. Uh, but overall, actually, this knife worked out really nicely. Uh, it's actually a great knife. I love the length of it. I've used it a lot now. And uh, yeah, it's a very convenient knife for general purpose use. Uh, it's a very sharp point, which is really good for digging into things. But overall, I'm very pleased. Um, so if you're thinking of putting your own scales on a knife blank, it's actually quite easy. So don't shy away from it. You can save yourself quite a bit of money by just buying the knife blank and a piece of wood. So it shouldn't take very long to cook at all. And I think I'm gonna put some spices on it. It's just some herbs. I'm just going to put some hot sauce in the corner because Esme doesn't like hot sauce. Come on, Esme Johnson. This way. It's right here. It's hot. Bowl. Let's put up bowls here. There you go, guys. Come on, press this. Hmm, 
pretty good. Not quite as good as the last two meals, but nothing to sniff at. Because it's fish and uh, spring's arrived, the bears are waking up, other animals are on the move. So I've got to be very careful about cleaning up. So I'll wash all this and then burn everything in the fire. Uh, just to be absolutely sure. Esme's already had her supper, so this is really just a bit of a treat for her. So I really like fish for camping because it's so quick and easy to prepare and to cook. And it tastes great as well, and Esme loves it. So that's one of our favorite dishes. So I ended up making a little tiny food flipper. Bloop. Uh, these, these are good for like flipping eggs. I made one slightly um, larger last time, uh, but this one had a split in it. So this is uh, this is the size it's going to be. So it's big enough for uh, one egg. And I'm just going to give it a little rub over with some sandpaper. So I've got the rough sort of shape. And uh, that will go in my kit. Hopefully that will last a little while. Flip. Okay, I'll show you once I've sanded it up. So we have it sanded down. Just needs a little bit of olive oil. I uh, just kind of wet it over just to get rid of the sawdust. Yeah, but it's a little delicate flipper. Uh, it's small, it's tiny, just kind of fun. <clears throat> but uh, it'll probably last a couple of trips. And like I say, my last one broke. So this is great for just easing over an egg or lifting a bit of fish or whatever. Better than to stick off the ground. So that's the normal headlights. That's with the light bar. Well, that's the uh, light bar. It's pretty bright. It's almost like daylight. Uh, it's much better than the standard lamp. So I actually plan to drop it below the bar. Um, I just kind of tacked it up there just for, for now. So yeah. Actually quite happy with that. That's she had looked at it for a second then. That wasn't a good idea. Oh, I could see dots everywhere. So we climbed aboard the hammock and uh it's actually quite nice. It's been a while since I've been in a hammock and we're very comfortable. We got the underquilt and the big sneak bag 
and it's quite nice. I can see the fire just over there. It's very comfortable. So I'm looking forward to a really good night's sleep. There's me is just down here. So we can see her. Hopefully you can see her there. Uh, she's quite tired actually. She was falling asleep earlier. Uh, we have a vet's appointment tomorrow because she has a, a lump on her paw, which is really bugging her. So that's uh, one of the reasons we've got to get back tomorrow. Uh, plus a birthday party. So can't afford to sleep in tomorrow. Uh, we will be having the Black Rifle coffee because I missed it last time and it's such an amazing coffee. So Esme and I wish you good night and we'll see you in the morning. Good night for now. Well, good morning everyone. Uh, we had a very comfortable night in the hammock. The temperature went down to below freezing because Esme's bowl was frozen this morning and I can see some frost on the on the ground outside but inside the hammock we're actually quite cozy um, i had to let esme out of the hammock about one o'clock so we woke up for a while she wanted to get out and scout around a little bit not sure why uh, and then uh, she uh, got back in and went back to sleep so it's pretty good the sun's just coming up just after seven o'clock and i will be getting my coffee this morning so i'll be very nice that's gonna be the black rifle coffee which is one of my favorites, uh, but it's a very beautiful morning. Well, we've got to get packed up pretty soon. Uh, we've got to be heading back early today. So it's just gone eight o'clock and we've got to be up and packed and everything ready to go for nine o'clock. So I'm going to start putting things away and uh, heading out. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, take care. Early spring is one of my favourite times of the year, just before the mosquitoes start to hatch and make your life a complete misery. Esme and I look forward to seeing you on our next adventures and until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.